Hello and welcome to this edition of Cloudbytes TV. Uh, in this edition, we're going to go through and talk about wrapper classes and why they might be used. Um, this was a question that I saw come up on uh, Quora the other day. Someone was just asking about what a wrapper class is within Salesforce and how to use it. And so I thought that would make a great video to share with everyone. Um, so what we've got on screen here is just a very simple Visual Force page. Um, and we're just going to use a Visual Force page for this example because it was quick and easy to work with. Um, what we've got is we've got a list of all of the accounts within my environment. Um, and what I'm doing is we have a little checkbox next to them. And if I hit the button there, it tells me which ones have the checkbox selected next to them. Now, this is a kind of common theme, um, a common sort of use case where you'll have uh, a list of items. You might want to select certain ones to then hit a button and start a process with them. Exactly the same thing in Lightning uh, web components. Um, just grouping a series of records together to do some action on them en masse. Now, obviously, this little checkbox we have down the other side here, we don't have any real, uh, any real kind of Boolean or checkbox value in the background that's tied to this to say it's selected. This is just something we only need for the, for the purposes of this page. So how do we do that? Well, that's where our wrapper class comes in. So if we jump over to our code here, um, what I'm going to do is quickly just show you the page. All we have on that page is um, an Apex repeater. That's going to go across a list of um, items, which is our wrappers in our wrapper list. Um, we've got the input checkbox for whether it's selected. And then we've also got the account name being output. We then have the command button. Uh, which is just going to do a little re-render for us, which we'll see in a second. Um, and then we've just got, again, listing out the accounts that were selected using that selected accounts. So jump into the controller. We've got our list of account wrapper examples. Now, account wrapper example is the wrapper class that we've got for each account. What does that look like? So what that looks like is just a very simple Apex class. What we've got is we've got our actual object we want to work with, which is our account, because we want the name and we want to be able to select the account record. And then we've just got a Boolean value for this is selected. And that's what we're using on our checkbox. So all the wrapper class does is it takes an existing custom object, standard object, or even another Apex class or primitive data type, and it wraps it in this Apex class that just has some additional properties that we only want to exist for the purpose of what we're doing on the page or in the background. And so it just becomes wrapped and is a little bit easier to use. So really simple. All we're doing here is we're passing the account into the constructor and we're going to set the account to be the account that's passed in. And we're just going to automatically set is selected to false because obviously we don't want it selected by default. Then in the controller for all of this, so that's what our list of account wrappers looks like. When we instantiate the controller, we're going to create a new list. We're going to retrieve all of our accounts, loop through them, add them into that wrapper list. Okay, that gets selected account methods here. What that does is that returns the ones that are selected. So it loops through that list that we've got, checks if it's selected, and if so, it adds it to that list. So it just adds the actual account object. And then at the end of it, we have this selection button, that's a uh, selection function. That's the one that's linked to our button. And as you can see, it's just a uh, null return. So all that does is that just refreshes the page. So if you, if you have a, a command button with a page reference return that returns null, it just refreshes the page. Now what you typically do here is on this button click, you'd have it go away, retrieve which ones are selected, and then go and do some process with the accounts. But again, all we're doing here is making that nice and easy. So let's just jump back over one last time here. So if I give this a quick refresh, what we've got is this is one of our wrapped classes. So we have the, uh, we have the account here, Edge Communications, and we're just displaying the name. We have our checkbox, which is tied to the is selected property of that account wrapper. And then we're looping through them. And then what we do is as we select a few, when we hit that button, it goes away, does a re-render for us, and returns the ones that have been selected. That's exactly what a wrapper class does, what its main use is, and how easy it is to use it. I've been Paul Batterson for Cloudbytes TV. I hope you found this really useful. If you have, remember to hit like, please hit subscribe, um, and hit the notification icon as well. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching another episode of Cloudbytes TV, where we're just trying to help you become the best Salesforce developer admin that you can uh, possibly be. Speak to you next time. Thanks. Bye now.